What you are witnessing are not clouds in the skies. They are thick smoke emanating from the burning of refuse at Old Fadama along the mortuary road in Kolebu, Accra. This smoke often engulfs homes in Latabiokoshi and Koligono. This is a major health concern for them and they are very worried of respiratory related problems. I woke up and the whole place was, you know, I couldn't see uh, better in the morning. So I was wondering what, what is actually happening. Because of the Amatan and, you know, in addition with the smoke, it's so difficult for you to uh, breathe. And um, if you're maybe having a sore throat right now, um, that's why I'm having my drink here. It does come from that, the other side. But for what I saw today, it was really, really tense. And I thought it was maybe a smoke from maybe something got burned. But I realized that it was really, really tense. And I think the, the area assemblyman should take a close look at it. I mean, it affects our health and, you know, the other people that live around as well. So I think it's something that they should have a, a close look at it. If you are very familiar with the mortuary road, street lights on that stretch are not functioning. This means the thick smoke from the burning rubbish obscures vision of road users on that stretch. The situation is intense during the daytime. Smoke billows from the activities have taken over homes here. It's very smoky atmosphere and the smoke is all in my eyes. My eyes are burning and it's in my nose and it's, it's a nuisance and I mean if you have to live with this round the clock, then it's a terrible experience. We are sleeping here. This is our house going. In the house, in the room, you have to own your fan. On, before you feel belief in, the, in your room. It's, it's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair. See, actually, we and you standing here. See the situation this morning. I know my face you are not. And this is not the first time. Every year, every year, they say, well, I have a colleague in the area, cardio, we say, cardio problem. Now, to the extent, say, look at Kolebu. We see Kolebu near Bay. Kolebu, we see a Jida Kolebu. Now, so, on pay, I understand, I say, on pay. But I don't understand what I say. Center of the city. Center of the city. Tamas, Tamani, Sakuni. Now, they tell me, allow. Bola, I want to be good. I'm very bad. Beyond this, the situation has also caused an accident. When you watch the smoke in the morning, uh, in the morning, uh, if you are driving, you can't see your way forward. Just from there, now you are going to the traffic light. And it seems that car over was not ahead, was not having a brake light. So the, uh, the coming one just hit his back. But it's only it's a, a minor. Let's see if it's a, a serious accident, what will happen. The situation, which is now calling for a national conversation, needs to be addressed immediately as residents have raised genuine health concerns. Though the assemblyman for the Kolibu electoral area and the member of parliament for the area are doing their bit to address the situation, it appears the efforts haven't yielded much. The first intention was to, if it was a very small area, to apply water to try to uh, control the fire. But unfortunately, it's, the fire is spreading all over. And so they think that uh, if they were to use fire, it would not give us, I mean water, it would not give us the desired outcome. So they are suggesting sand and um, I think they will work with the city to see how we can get the necessary sand around to come and put this to an end. The smoke from any type of fire is a mixture of particles and chemicals produced by incomplete burning of carbon containing materials. All smoke contains carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and particulate matter. Smoke can contain any different chemicals that are very dangerous to the health of an individual. There is the potential for chronic health effects from exposure to the components of smoke. Long-term exposure to ambient air containing fine particles has been associated with increases in cardiovascular diseases and mortality in populations living in such areas. Frequent exposure to smoke for brief periods may also cause long-term health effects. This is the fate of residents of Latabiokoshi, Kolebu, and parts of Koligono. But most importantly is the impact this is having on patients and staff 
of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. I think I think it needs to be looked at because, uh, especially because of the kind of the, the method of uh, you know taking care of the waste that is being used. Because if you're going to take care of it by burning, and then there are communities close by, then of course, then those communities will be subjected to smoke pollution, which is also a health hazard in itself. So I think it will depend on what kind of method is being used to. Uh, you know, take care of the of the of, of, of the waste. But as it is now, I think it's there's a bit of, it's creating a bit of a nuisance, and I think it needs to be sorted. Even in my home, I don't spend rubbish. I don't spend plastics. It's very very dangerous to the environment. So then, I don't know what they are burning there. But this is not paper, and um, this is something that should clearly not be done. Some of these things expose us to cancers that we don't know what is causing, and it's really not helpful. I have seen patients who present with chest problems. And you'd be surprised that it's from exposure to some form of smoke many years back. And I mean, this is your respiratory system you are compromising. If you are not able to breathe, you are not alive. So this is, this is a no-no. An aerial view tells how dire the situation is. Meters away, the burning is still ongoing. This is the source of all the health hazards or health concerns of residents living at Mamprobi, Koligon or Kolebu and Latabiokoshi. It has become a national issue that the Environmental Protection Agency, the Ministry of Health and Sanitation Ministry must come and address. The lives of the over 2 million residents here are at risk. My name is Kojo Ajman reporting for City News.